In this video, we'll look at the equation for FeNO3 3 plus H2O. That's iron 3 nitrate plus water. Iron, that's a metal, it's a transition metal. And then N and O, those are nonmetals. So we have a metal with a group of nonmetals. This is a polyatomic ion, it's called the nitrate ion. So when we have a metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound, and they often dissolve in water. When we see an NO3, that nitrate, we're also thinking it's probably going to dissolve in water. But we can check a solubility table to see whether FeNO3 3, iron 3 nitrate, is soluble in water or not. Let's do that. So we're going to find iron 3 on this side. These are the positive ions. So we come down, and there's iron 2. But we want iron 3. And then across the top, these are the anions, the negative ones. Here is the nitrate. So we go across here till we meet the nitrate column and we see an S. That means that iron 3 nitrate is soluble in water. So let's go back to our equation. And we now know that this solid iron 3 nitrate will dissolve in water. When it does, it's going to split apart into its ions. That'll be that Fe3 plus and the nitrate ion. Because we have this subscript of three, that means we do have three nitrate ions. So we should put a coefficient in front to show that we have three of them. The solid iron 3 nitrate, it's dissolved in water. So we can write AQ after the ion. AQ, that means aqueous or dissolved in water. Because of that, we don't need to write H2O on this side of the equation. These are dissolved in water. And that's the equation for FeNO3 3 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.